Hi guys. So um, I had another appointment today and let's see the last one I went to was when they had to redo the stitches on the incision on the left breast and I took uh, I looked at them this morning took some pictures and they look like I can't believe the difference from last week to this week it's like it's crazy the redness is on this one the redness is almost like completely gone and it's the incisions like I can't even tell it doesn't even look the same anymore it's it's so much better uh, this one was the one that had that little bit of a scab on it it seems like it's not I guess it, the incision looks like it's a little bit bigger but it's not it's still healing like it still look like it looks like it's healing so I'll, I'll I took some pictures of them I'll post those up um, so you can see like the difference between last week and in this week but it's a significant difference so uh, let's see what did he say he gave me a a prescription for an anti-inflammatory I forgot what I have them somewhere else in my in my purse in the living room but uh, it's basically an anti-inflammatory and because this one's like really really hard and it's like you can see like this one's higher than this one this one's like a lot squishier and this one's like ooh, like super hard um, good news is we can start massaging it um, not like the lift one because they still that pulls on the incision but more like the grippy massaging thing so hubby can help with that hey. <laughs> um, let's see what else was there didn't take out the stitches yet he's gonna leave it in um, Ever, um, he said he I would he would be okay with if I came back in two weeks, but um, I want to just keep going every week. So I'm, we're gonna I'm gonna come back again next week and see what it looks like and see if we can get the stitches out at that point. Uh, I was told I did not have to wear the surgical bra anymore. So as long as I wear a good support sports bra, I'm fine. Um, can't go free ball on it just yet. Uh, they still want me to keep at least some padding on the where the incision site is just to keep it covered up I asked about that I was like well for me for like most incisions and boo-boos and stuff like if you let them air out I guess I guess if you say like let it dry and you know they'll heal faster and yes that is the case but the thing is is that it's still kind of a superficial but it's still a wound and they don't want it to get infected mostly because there's the implant under there and all that so they don't want any risk of any kind of infection so dust dog hair dirt whatever they don't want anything coming in contact with those incision areas so to keep the incision area covered even with a little bit of padding at all times even though it might make the healing process a little bit longer but it's safer that way so that doesn't get infected and stuff so um but yeah I'd like to just burn that thing but eh whatever so but yeah they look they're still really high up um they, I was told I asked today and they said that it could take months for them to start to drop but he said that the implants are really high especially this one so more massaging and stuff that we do and the prescription that I have is going to help soften it up. But he said the implants are up here so as it, the muscles relax and massaging and all that stuff, the implant will start to drop and, and then we'll have more of a natural look instead of them looking like straight at you. And like I got like headlights going on there. But um, the areola air, the areola area looks really good. Um, it's like like completely healed it looks like uh, the incision going straight down those parts are completely healed the only part is just the, that little T juncture in the in the bottom area uh, as soon as that's healed I got the okay in fact they said it was really good that's like the best thing you could do is that um, the silicone gel tape stuff I got to put that on but I have to wait until the um, incisions completely healed what else was there so I can't take. I asked if I could take a shower yet. They said no, just because, especially because of this one, because of the scab. They don't want the scab getting wet and all that. So still washing the hair with the attachment shower thing. Still taking a little kid bath and and all that stuff. But um, I think that was pretty much it. Oh, I asked about the little shooting pains I was getting. Sometimes I would get them starting in my nipple area and then kind of move out or from the side and move in. It was just like these little little triggers of sharp. Like, almost like electric like 
things going off and they said that that's completely normal that it's the nerves um basically waking up and coming back and because you like disturbing all that stuff so that's really good that means that everything the feeling and everything's coming back and so that's perfectly normal for that to happen um so I'll have to kind of take it easy I mean I have a little bit more of a you know but um I still have to be careful and not go lifting crazy and and all that so I think that was it. I'm trying to remember any other questions that I had and that I had asked them or anything that he said. Yeah, I can start massaging, coming back next week, implants high, prescription. Yeah, that was it. So, uh, another appointment next week. And, yep, that's it. So, I guess I'll, if anything happens, I'll get back on here and uh, update you guys. If not, I will see you next week, okay? Bye. So I was laying here in bed and I just realized that I did forget something. The I was supposed to be going to the Slipknot concert and ended up being that Corey, the lead singer, broke his neck and had to get back surgery. So the tour dates were rescheduled, which is actually a pretty good thing considering I wasn't fully healed. So. Now the our, our date for the concert is going to be in August, so I should be completely healed by then. So actually, worked out to be a good thing. So there was that. So no worries about getting hurt by getting hit and pushed and everything in the in the pit. So there was that.